Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. My name is Shazeb Hamid and today we are going to develop a NLP classification methodology with the help of zero short learning. The library that we are going to use in this video is Transformers and typically uh, some of you may know that this is a Hugging Face library and we are going to use Hugging Face pipeline to develop a zero shot classifier and on the basis of that zero shot classifier we are going to ask a question and uh, then perform multi-class classification in which we will get a result that uh, that specific question belongs to which type of work so first let's discuss a little bit what is zero shot classification so it is a machine learning technique which is used to classify data based on a very few or even no labeled examples it means we are classifying on a fly zero shot is also a variant of transfer learning it's a pattern recognition with no examples using semantic transfer so why would we use zero shot classification because no data or very small amount of data is available for training in that case we are going to use zero shot classification other than that number of classes and labels is very high in that case we also used to try zero shot classification transfer learning methodology and to develop multiple out of the box classifiers we also use zero shot learning so first let's start by importing the transformers library right so it is already imported in my system if it is not in your system you can just write pip install transformers so after installing transformers there are a few things that we need to have before going further so first thing is we need to import numpy as np other than that we need to import matplotlib.pyplot that's what we are going to use to visualize whatever we are classifying so matplotlib.pyplot as plt other than that we are going to import pipeline from transformers right so let's write from transformers import pipeline and we are also going to use rc parameters and which is available in pylab so let's write from pylab import rc parameters params right so let's run this actually and let's put in a few cells after this so with the help of rc parameter we are going to adjust our figure size and later we can use the same fig size for multiple works so let's write rc parameter and here we are going to write figure dot fig size is equal to 10 comma 5 sorry my num lock is off 10 comma 5 so this is our fig size now it will be fixed to 10 ratio 5 and let's run this and after that the next step is to make the zero shot classifier so where is it available it is available in the pipeline that we have just imported and the name of that classifier is zero shot classifier so let's write zero underscore short underscore class c fire is equal to let's use the pipeline and here let's write zero short classification just like that i have not entered the inverted commas here let's do that and now let's enter into this so we'll have to wait a little bit okay so now what we can do is 
we can just say that what are the results equal to right so results are equal to zero underscore short underscore classifier classifier the same name that we declared above and here we are going to give it three things so the first thing is sequence right Let's, we are going to give it a sequence so first let's write sequences what is the sequence let's write something like can you order some pizza and book an uber to the nearest cinema house at 10 p.m so we are asking it to the classifier and now we will have to give it some candidates so what can be the candidates let's write first candy date underscore labels right and after this let's give it a few candidates so let's give the first prediction as flight travel this prediction will be wrong in our case this is a wrong prediction that we are feeding it other than that let's write cabs travel it might predict this one because it is a good prediction right as we can see in the sentence as well and other than that we can give something like reminders into this we can also tell it that maybe we are talking about food right and maybe we are talking about movies we can also give it a lot of other candidates as well whatever we want and as you can see it is a multi-class classification so i will write multi-class is equal to true so now let's run this okay it is giving me an error let me see what is the problem here i was supposed to enter a comma here i forgot it so let's put a comma here and let's put a comma here as well let's run it again it is actually telling us that the multi-class argument has been depreciated but still our work is done let's see how this work in a bar chart so let's write plt dot bar we are going to plot a bar chart here using matplotlib of course and we are going to plot a result right and in the result we want the labels and after the result the second thing that we want is a result and here we are going to write the scores so we will have two things here the first thing will be score and the second thing will be labels now this will be in the bar what we want on the x x uh, on the y axis sorry as labels or ticks we can just tell it start from zero and go to one with a difference of 0 0.1 so for that we will use numpy function range so for that we will write np dot a range right and in that we'll tell it that start from zero and that one and have a difference of 0 0.1 right so this is how we can do that okay so we would like to make a list out of these values so for that let's write list list also and let's write plt dot show here and now we can just run it and see what is happening here okay so as you can see i'll see for the ticks so it is y ticks right anyways so as you can see that our question was can you order some pizza and book and 
and book an Uber to the nearest cinema house at 10 p.m. So we are talking about food. We are talking about booking an Uber, right? We are talking about cinema. So, and it is a reminder because we are asking it to do these things. So the first thing that it has predicted is we are talking about food. Second thing it has predicted is we are talking about cabs, movies and reminder. So this is the simplest way with the help of which you can predict what is being said in your question. So let's suppose if I change the question to something like can we eat a pizza today so let's see how this works right as you can see it is an easy enough mechanism okay so it is uh, telling us that we are talking about food most of the time and other than that we are also talking about reminders so let's see <clears throat> if we decrease the cab travel here and we also decrease something like movies so now let's see what happens okay so it is stuck on the last result for some reason let me check that okay so i'll have to write result here instead of results so now let's run it again there we go so from these three it is telling us that we are talking about food and we are talking about reminders a little bit so now uh, let's enter those two things again we can you know cab travel that was entered entered we can also add books right and something like that uh, so now let's ask it can we read harry potter today so let's see what it answers So there we go it is telling us that we are talking about books other than that there is no prediction so as you can see it is a very good mechanism to very good and very easy also to develop a prediction mechanism and a classification mechanism so this is it to, for today for more videos like this keep watching ai sciences